Welcome. We're going to have our meeting here today on the AL Abacus, and we're going to look at the basics and some strategies using the AL Abacus. I am your host, I'm Kathleen Cotter Lawler. Information that we're going to be looking at here today is going to be coming from the Right Start Math, the Level A lessons, and the Level B lessons. The first thing that we're going to talk about is subitizing. This is actually coming off of level B lesson. This is a review lesson one to five subitizing. And we're going to work with this first because I want to show you how important that is so that when we use that with the abacus. Subitizing is the quick recognition of quantities without counting. So if I put show this many fingers, how many are there? There's three. You don't have to count it. You can see that it's three. So that's subitizing. Human babies and some animals can subitize small quantities at birth. And children who subitize perform better in mathematics. So we want our children to be able to subitize. Subitizing allows the child to grasp, grasp the whole and the elements at the same time. And subitizing seems to be a necessary skill for understanding what the counting process means. So this subitizing is very important, working with our children and, and having them understand their numbers. So again, here's three. Here's also three. We call these tally sticks, but you can all, they're craft sticks or popsicle sticks. We call them tally sticks, but you can see it's three. Here also is three, four. And when we get to five, you can compare five with four because five has a middle and four does not, as you can see down below here. Five has a middle, four does not. Taking, continuing on with subitizing and looking at just six and seven and the abacus, here I've got seven. You can see I have five and two more. The left hand is used for the quantities of one to five because we read from left to right. Here are seven with the tally sticks and seven with the with tiles or squares here. And again, you can see that blue is five because five has a middle. Let's look at subitizing eight to 10. Now we're gonna use the abacus. So we're gonna start back here with three, three, five, Seven. Notice how we have the correlation between our hands and we have we have the five and the two. You can see that you've got the blue and the yellow. So you can see the seven, five and two more. And ten. Children love ten. All the fingers, all the beads on the road. Let's look at partitioning ten. This is coming off of level A. This is taken by taking this right from the lesson. We're going to partition 10. So what makes 10? 1 and 9, 2 and 8, 3 and 7, 4 and 6. And we can keep going so we can see what makes 10. We can start to do some adding with the abacus. If I do 4 plus 3, 4 and 3 more is, when I say is, I push it together, seven. Now, when we're working with a child, again, we're going to start out with four and three is seven. And then we're going to say the math way of saying and is plus and the math way of saying equals, or excuse me, the math way of saying is, is equals. Let's look at composing tens and ones on the abacus. So here I have 30, or we can see it also as 310. 30. These are my place value cards. And we can actually, for a while, we'll actually have the kids say 310, also known as 30. So there's two ways we're going to be able to say this number. So I have 310. Now I have 510 or 50. 710. And again, we can see that that's 7 because my 5 has a middle and then it's changed colors again. So I have 710 or 70, 
and that would be 10 tens, also known as 100. Now, if I put on 310 and two more, the way I can write this is I can take that two and I can scoot it up, put it right on top, and now I have 32. This helps the child understand that this is not just a three and a two that happen to be hanging out next to each other. It's actually 30 or 310 and two more. So it's 3102 or 32. Now how many do I have? How many 10? I had tens. I have 610 and seven more. And the way we write it is I take that seven and scoot it up. 610 seven. 67. Let's look at adding tens using the abacus. If I do 40 plus 30 equals, I can do 40, 4, 10, and 3 more 10 is, oh, I've seen that before. That again is 70. See how the abacus helps the children see the answer or subitize the answer. And with the abacus laid out in 5s and 10s, it makes it very easy to see the number. Let's add 10 to a number. So I'm going to do 52 plus 20. So 5, 10, 2, 52, and 20 more. I'm just going to scoot them over right here. Can you see the answer? You can see that you have 7, 10, or 70, and 2 more, 72. Let's do another one. Let's do 68 plus 30. So I'm going to put on 6, 10, and 8 more, 68 plus 30, I can see my answer is going to be 9, 10, and nobody had to count it. You can see that you've got 9. I've got 5, 10, and 4 more 10, 1, 2, 3, 4. You can see that you've got the 4, 10 there, and 8 more, so my answer is going to be 98. Let's look at some of the strategies to help us with our facts. The first one we're going to do is called complete the 10. This is at taking 9 or 8 and adding another digit to it. So if I have 9 plus 5, 9 on the first row, 5 on the next, I want to complete the 10 by trading this bead for this bead. So 1, 2, 3, trade. And you can see that you have 10 and 4 more, which is 14. Let's do another one here. Let's do 9 plus 7. 9 on the first row, 7 on the next. I'm going to complete the 10. 1, 2, 3, trade. And I have 10 and 6 more, 16. This next strategy is called the 2 fives strategy. 8 plus 6. 8 on the first row, 6 on the next. Before I do anything, can you see the answer? Look at my blue beads. How many do I have? I have 10. How many yellow beads do I have? Four. So my answer is 10 and four more, or 14. Let's do another one real quick. Seven plus five. Seven on the first row, five on the next. Can you see the answer? The blue beads are 10 and two more with the yellow. So 10 and two is 12. Let's do some subtraction with the missing add end. This is taken out of level A, lesson 96. And we've got a, we've got a story problem. Little Bo Peep lost nine sheep in the morning. Five of her sheep came home before dinner. How many sheep are still lost? So using the abacus, we can say we have five that came home. There's nine all together, so what do I need to make nine? So how many did I need to go from five to nine? I needed four more, so four are still lost. So I can write it this way, five plus what equals nine? The answer is four. Of 
course, I can also write it as 9 minus 5 is 4. So we're going to use the missing at end to figure this out. Let's do subtraction by going down on the abacus. 7 minus 5. I'm going to start with 7, take away 5, and I can see that my answer is 2. Pretty basic. Let's do another, another strategy called taking all from 10. So if I have 15 minus 9, so I have 15 beads on, I'm going to take the 9 from the 10. And what do I have left? 6. It doesn't really matter where we take it from. In this case, we're taking it from the 10. So I can see that I have 6 left. Let's take part from the 10. Use the same numbers, 15 minus 9. So I have 15. This time I'm going to take the 9 from the 5 on the second row and 4 more from the top row. And my answer is still 6. The AL Abacus is a visual and tactile manipulative that helps the children develop mental images of quantities, strategies, and mathematical operations. It also promotes subitizing, which we know is very important. It is the cornerstone of the Right Start Math program. It is used in all the levels except level G. So A through E does use the uh, abacus. The Right Start Math program has been given the first place award from Mary Pride's Practical Homeschooling Reader Awards in 2014 and 15. We've also been given the award from the Old Schoolhouse Ed Excellence in Education Award from 2014, first place. In conclusion, math needs to be taught so 95% is understood and only 5% memorized. And Dr. Cotter says our goal as teachers of mathematics is to help our children transform, expand, and refine these beginning ideas into deeper mathematical thinking. If you have any questions that come up at a later time, you're certainly welcome to call us at 888-272-3291, or you can email us at info at rightstartmath.com. I thank everybody for taking the time to hear about the abacus, some of the basics and the strategies using the AL abacus.